Hi everyone, it's Kelly from The Hub. I'm here today with Mike Eichenlob, and as you can see, um, all of the plants at the community garden are have grown I mean, like, like plants do in the garden. They're taking over. If you remember, that was that black plastic that they put down around the like zucchinis and other squashes and pumpkins. And now, because those are stretching out like they do, they're everywhere. Oh, Mike, this looks fantastic. Talk to us about all the stuff going on. Uh, we just started getting tomatoes, um, which is cool because we're a little worried because they were taking a while. Yeah. Um, we had some blossom and rot on some of them because of a calcium deficiency in the soil. Oh, so that's hopefully we what got that, that fixed. Was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, we've been taking tomatoes over the food bank. Oh, look at them! You can look at those little guys. Yeah. Tomatoes, tomatoes um, everywhere. It, it's it's a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> But yes, some of them got a little sick. Uh, so as we go. Oh, look. Very cool. And it looks like uh, cucumbers caught something. We had a big patch of cucumbers here that were doing really well a couple days ago. Oh, is that, so, you yeah. mean like they're not doing well? Like some of those leaves look a little like lighter yeah. color. All of a sudden, they turn. They started turning brown. Like this was all very lush green. Yeah. Three days ago. Oh, huh. Are there are there little cucumbers underneath there? Uh, I'm sure there are. Um, Michelle was out here earlier, and she picked a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, but even the, the cucumbers look like they're starting to suffer because of whatever's going on with the plants. Oh, huh. And that I'll have to look into that. I'm. I'm learning as I go here, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's just fine. How are the peppers doing? The peppers are doing really well. Um, take a little stroll. A bunch of those went over the food bank today, too. Uh, <sighs> oh, there they are. Yeah, like all the, all the bigger ones were picked uh, yeah. yesterday and this morning. Good. Um, but yeah, they're doing pretty well. Um, I think that's a potato beetle. Oh, for heaven's sakes. It, it, it looks like, no, it's a bean beetle. That's right. Um, it looks like a ladybug, but it's orange. Yeah. And, uh, they love eat. I just killed it because they love eating green beans. Oh, for heaven's sakes. So and note got, to self, the, got, the orange ones, not good. Are, are those Japanese beans right beetles. there? Yes. Yeah, growing up on those little stakes. So and here we go. There, uh, yeah, little bean beetle running around on the leaves. Oh, there. But now then, we know that. Huh. Um, and then we end up with holes in the leaves, like. So that's all. All those holes that you're showing us right yeah. now. Those are all beetles, right? Beetles that are eating the leaves. Well, yeah, from from the beetles eating the leaves. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, but yeah, that happens if you don't spray. And there, there's other ways to manage them organically. Um, we're, like I said, we're learning as we go. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I just have to say, I mean, seeing seeing all of this stuff that, I mean, we've been here since the beginning so these were all little little seeds and little nothings and now they're growing into big huge things how are the zucchini yeah i think you froze Yeah, those were probably taking, I don't know, 20 pounds at a time. <laughs> you know, this is awesome. I think you froze you on, there? oh, there we are. There we go. Oh, I, um, I saw the carrots and I was the one that was sassing all those carrots at the beginning. And I got to tell you, they look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had purple and orange, which was pretty cool. 
Yeah, we talked about that carrots are hard to grow because you have to have good soil. And if the soil's too yeah. compacted like clay, they get like these fat, short carrots and they don't really even really look like carrots, but these look lovely. Yeah, they, they turned out pretty well. Good. And what do you have growing in that same bed with the carrots? That's the kale that we've been harvesting like all year. Oh, right. That's like yeah, one of those um, plants that like keeps on giving. Yeah, but at this point they've gotten pretty buggy as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can, um, oh, okay, yep. And this is also one of those things that because this is a, an organic garden, we don't just spray pesticides all over the place. So sometimes you have to sort of, you know, balance all that stuff. Yeah. There's eggs from something on there, I don't know. Oh, okay, huh. But those are gonna go away. Yeah. Um, but there's little white uh, moths that float around, like little white butterflies that kids like to catch. Yeah. Those are the those are the things that lay eggs on cabbages and squash. Oh, look, a lanternfly. Oh. Now, um, do you know any, Do you know if those if those little creatures do bad? Like, I mean, we know that they do bad things to like grape grapes and apples and those kinds of things. Do they do bad things to other kinds of crops? um fruit trees and hardwoods i know they're bad for okay um as far as this stuff goes they're just around i don't think they particularly feed on this now if you see here this is a cabbage moth oh. caterpillar so there's little white butterflies lay eggs on the bottoms of these leaves cabbages broccoli related kale all of that sort of like cruciferous um, family. Yes, and yeah. the, the caterpillars eat the crap out of the plants and then it wrecks it for us and then. Right, because then yeah, you're not, they, so do they wreck, do they eat, they eat like the cauliflower itself and the broccoli itself or do they just eat the leaf? Well, they, those like cabbages, those are the leaves, so. Yeah, um, they can do both. Um, okay. I've had issues on my in my personal garden with um, them getting into the broccoli. And then you steam the broccoli, and then you got like worms in it because you didn't rinse them all out. So that's kind of gross. Oh, oh, okay, right. And like we forget when you buy stuff at the grocery store, most I mean, you know, ninety nine percent of that stuff's all been you know picked over and cleaned and gone through all those things. But when you're just doing yeah. it from your garden, sometimes you don't know who's hijacking into your into your saute yeah. pan. Oh, uh, that's basil. Oh, wow. And we got a little, little bit of cilantro here. Excellent. Uh, 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 the beets are almost done. Uh, yep. um, so we have 13 beds and we're gonna planting of cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower in these beds. As this stuff winds down, we'll plant more stuff in here. Because so those go into problem. colder weather, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. And with all those tomatoes and a big hunk of some of that basil, we could certainly make some sauce out of that stuff. Sure could. We don't have a lot of Roma tomatoes. What other kinds do we have? This year, um, but that's get into Whatever random like slicing tomato, like a beefsteak tomato. Yeah. Um, now we do have we do have some plump tomatoes here, but those were hit really hard by the blossom end rot. Oh, okay. That was one of. Didn't blossom rot? It was. It's probably been around forever, but I remember a couple of years ago it was really prevalent in our area. Okay. And that, and like, I think people just sort of didn't really know what it was. And then they, now they know how to, you know, sort of solve for that problem as well. And you're right. Yeah. It, it's an experiment as you're learning. And I mean, we're all not master gardeners. So sometimes you're just winging it out there. Well, and even with the master gardener program, I mean, they have to rely on each other because not, there's just way too much to know. And the Penn State uh, extension has a tremendous website with all kinds of information if if you can find it because there's, there's just so much of it there's so much to learn that's so cool and it's cool that all of the master gardeners share information together so they're like always helping each other with like hmm my leaf has this on it what do you think it is yeah, yeah. all that yep. stuff 
Oh, that's very cool. It's, it's strange. Like it's August. So how long will these crops go for the next like monthish? The beans and tomatoes and peppers? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, we have more beans that we have planted um, over here. These are French beans. So these are just getting started um, while the beans over there that I was showing you earlier. Well, Mike's a little They're frozen. They're kind of winding down a little bit. Oh, the okay. Nice thing yeah. about planting successive crops, you have like a longer harvest season. Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. Cool to learn that. You there? Um, yes, we are. That guy right there that just flew away is a cucumber beetle. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we deal with a lot of bugs out here. I was going to say there's cucumber beetles and there's the creepy things that are going on on the in the cabbage leaves the creepy See things on the there? beans the guy just flitted away with the spots on him that's a spotted cucumber beetle oh wow um yeah and they can uh, infect the plant with a bacteria and it'll kill the whole cucumber plant in a couple of days oh isn't it interesting all of these a lot of these bugs specialize to one plant because they really like it Yep. Huh. I gotta tell you, and it, it can it can be frustrating. Yeah, right, right. Because something that works on a bean beetle might not work on a potato beetle, or might not work on a kale bug. Hmm. I gotta say, every time we're doing this garden thing, there's always something funky and neat to learn. Right. That's you know one of the important things about growing organic. Oh yeah, every day. Every day. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I love it. So we got a couple of cantaloupe growing over here. I didn't know there were cantaloupe over there. I bet those have special beetles too. Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> yes, there are bugs. So I think to, one uh, of the things. Then there's always the weeds. Yeah. But it's well worth it. So yeah. if uh, so for those of you at home, if you've actually ever gone to the if anybody's community. interested in helping a uh, hot day, uh, send us a message. Right, because you could always help water, right? Yeah, um, like we, we take turns helping out here in the evenings if we have a long hot spell, which is why everything looks so good because we've been out here to water just about every night when it's been hot and dry. Yeah, and then yesterday's rain was pretty helpful, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm, the, the rain we're about to get might be a little too much. We'll end up with uh, split tomatoes because if tomatoes are growing and they get too much water too fast, they'll, uh, they'll split. Oh, they like take on too much water and that and that causes the skin to split? Yeah. I didn't know that. Hm. Look at that. Mike, thank you very much. This was this is this was very fun. Thank you so much. We will we thank will you, chat Kelly. with you next week, okay? Sounds awesome. Take care. All right, see ya.